Nurse TV, brought to you by HESTA and the Australian Nursing Federation. Life can be hard, but for some people it's harder than others. There are more than 20,000 homeless people in Victoria. Simple survival is a struggle, but many also battle with mental illness, drug addiction and sexually transmitted diseases. To manage the unique needs of these people, the Royal District Nursing Service has developed the Homeless Persons Program. The program receives funding, but as always, there is never enough money. This is the story of a district nurse who came up with a creative solution to assist with funding. Eastern Cycling Club is a uh, veteran cycling club. Uh, veterans is a bit of a misnomer because you only need to be over 35 if you're a man or over 30 if you are a woman. Uh, we're a club of approximately 250 members uh, based in the eastern suburbs and we get together to race. I love to race. Well, I love the club, I love coming here. Uh, the social aspect of cycling is fantastic. We're a little bit older, we're sort of over a lot. Well, some of us are over the competitive stuff, but a lot of us are here for the social part of cycling as well. For the past uh, three or four years, we've run a uh, charity race uh, each year and uh, today it was for the Royal District uh, Nursing Service Homeless Persons uh, Program. I've been a member of the Eastern Vets probably for about two, maybe three years, and I've seen what they do in regards to community benefits and involvement, and there's been a number of appeals in the past, particularly with the Tsunami uh, and also Arche, and I suggest the idea to the uh, committee members of Eastern Vets um, that the uh, RDNS Homeless Persons Program needed some extra assistance during Christmas for clients who, who didn't have any um, presence at Christmas time. I'm actually a team member of uh, about 34 nurses and two admin staff under the auspice of the RDNS. Um, the Homeless Persons Program is uh, a dedicated uh, team of prof uh, nursing professionals who provide a um, holistic service to the community and particularly the mar marginalised communities such as um, homeless people, particularly dealing with um, uh, primary health care. Yeah, Australia with the, the wealth that we've got and the, the, um, the services available, why are people homeless? A whole range of e reasons, poverty, social injustice, domestic violence, um, transient uh, homelessness, uh, moving from one state to another, people being uh, marginalised because of their health, people being uh, marginalised because of their um, the health system and can't seek appropriate care in the health system. Uh, a whole range of factors. Uh, it's, it can be economical, uh, it can be structural, it can be health. It's fairly easy for us to raise money because we just take entry money and don't pay out any prize money, but I think also that uh, the members are fairly generous uh, uh, people and we promote the charity and people come along and empty their pockets out. Predominantly used for, uh, for Christmas presents for our clients during obviously Christmas um, and we've since then, per some clients have purchased wallets which they've never had or have lost or been stolen or, or adding extra to um, uh, Christmas um, hampers for clients and also special needs that client, uh, client may need during Christmas. It's fun to give back to the community. We're a community, well, I suppose we represent the community, don't we? Because that's, that's what we are and we like to give back to the community. We'll select a charity, carefully select a charity and embrace it and go for it, raise some money. 
The veterans like to give to a notable cause and I think homeless people are definitely a notable cause.